So a girl with a OnlyFans has been caught cheating in Call of Duty. And no, we're not talking about Nadia. We are in fact talking about this girl right here. So if you guys don't know, there's like a tournament in Call of Duty called like the WXC, which is Women X Call of Duty. It's hosted by like all women and all women playing in tournaments and things like that. It's literally like, it's super well put together, well organized. It's, it's a great thing for the community, especially for women in gaming in general. The whole thing is just great. What's not great about the WXC is that people try to diminish what they are building by joining their tournaments and trying to cheat thinking that it's gonna work. If you guys are familiar with um, Alley Cat, I think her name is, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. She's the founder of the WXC and also um, she's like an analyst for the Call of Duty League. So yeah, like the whole thing is super well put together. Like they know what they're doing. So the girl that we're gonna be talking about in this video, was in the recent WXC tournament on like July 10th, I think it was. I wanna show you guys the alleged video of her cheating and I want you guys to comment your opinions on it right now. Alright, so y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Now, in her defense, she is a five-time tourney champ. Well, at least it's what her bio says. I'm not sure. I didn't fact check it. If anybody knows otherwise, comment it below. So maybe she is really just that good. This has been like a big thing within the entire like Call of Duty community. Even YouTubers like BAMS even responded to it and talked about the situation. Oh, top party, top party. Okay. Easy read, easy read. Oh my god. Oh, sus me, sus me. I, I, I feel like they didn't read, open the fucking door. So that alone should tell you like how big the WXC actually is and how much of a problem cheating in these tournaments is for not only you as a person but as an entire organization. So if you try to cheat your way through life, as you all know, there's probably going to be consequences at some point. And her cheating or hacking or whatever you want to say she was doing did lead to a lot of different things. One of the main things I've seen was her being removed from her team uh, organization, whatever you want to call it. So the team name was Team Efficiency Gaming. And they released a statement saying, We have recently become aware of an unfortunate incident involving Angelina during the WXC qualifiers. We would like to address this matter with the utmost transparency and professionalism. It is important to clarify that Angelina was temporarily brought in as a fill for one of our team members who is currently on a mental health break, and she was not an official member of our team. And just that paragraph alone is crazy, bro, because they're not even claiming you no more. <laughs> like, I'm sure you don't even really care or whatever, but that's like, is that not crazy? Like, they basically say, like, she's not even really a part of the team, but, like, we kind of had to pick her up, like, that's insane to me. They continue to say that cheating in any form is absolutely unacceptable and goes against our core values. Consequently, we have taken immediate action and removed Angelina from our team. We want to assure our community that we will remain committed to fair play and integrity. We appreciate your support and understanding as we navigate through this situation. Efficiency gaming. Wow. Just so that whole thing like that statement just made the whole thing a little bit crazier for me because like you weren't even for one it wasn't even an official tournament it was qualifying for the tournament and on top of that you weren't even an official member of the team you weren't even on the team like how you cheat you're not even on the team like that's crazy. But afterwards, Angelina did reply to Efficiency Gaming's tweet and said, lost a legitimate player. And it's crazy how fast people will switch up with no valid proof. So yeah, nice plan with y'all, LOL. This tweet went on to get 124K views, 100 comments, and 100 likes. Now, those are crazy engagement numbers. I know like, yeah, 
the that engagement is crazy to begin with so in a way this whole thing is working in her favor like i've seen a lot of people been like talking about her only fans and things like that which is kind of working in her favor because if anything she's getting free promotion from it her views are probably going up her numbers are probably going up maybe even getting more subscriptions y'all know niggas is sickos but if y'all do got it y'all i'm saying just go ahead click the link in my description to join my discord and i was just kidding come on Come on, you guys know I was just kidding, right? Chill, bro. Chill, bro. I'm playing, bro. Don't join, bro. Don't join, bro. That's just a joke, bro. You can, like, you can join, but, like, not for that. Like, that's weird, bro. We don't do that over there in, in my court, but we just be vibing. I even seen, like, another woman in the community say, um, just focus on your OnlyFans, little bro. Hang up the sticks, like... And that was like hilarious, bro, because it was such a big like drama thing in the in the girls like Call of Duty community on Twitter that it was hilarious, bro. And the timeline been dry, so y'all know I've been like you feel me? I've been sitting back like, oh no, nah, she wild. Y'all know how instigated niggas be, bro. Y'all know, bro. So throughout this whole like ordeal, you know, obviously when somebody cheats in a tournament, these uh, events do like PC checks where you know you can check your files, your deleted files, and things like that. To see if you have hacks downloaded or whatever the case may be and she would say that she couldn't stream to check or do the pc check because of like she was lagging or something like 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 that's why she said she couldn't do it which made the whole thing much more suspicious right like you was just playing the tournament now all of a sudden you randomly lagging but she did like post like screenshots and things proving that she was having internet connection issues but like, she had an email from a site called like veteran cheats and I don't know if that's like a, I, I've never hacked, so I, apparently that's like a hacking thing that gives you wall hacks and things like that. And people were talking about that, and she was saying it was from 2021, so it's not really valid to bring up, which is true. Like, just because somebody was hacking two years ago, don't mean they still hacking now. I mean, right? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. She might be, she might be, but, but she is getting like a lot of backlash for this entire situation. And some of it is for the complete wrong reason, and it's unwarranted. Like, Obviously, she's a woman in like the Call of Duty space, so a lot of like men are just taking the opportunity to just hate on her for no reason and sending her unnecessary hate, which isn't by any means like cool at all. So, so if y'all doing that or you one of those type of people, bro, just stop because that that could just you you never know what a person's going through, especially like when the entire Twitter is already on your head and things like that. So that's not cool. But but like she did have like support, and not everybody in the world is hating on her. So another woman in the community named Nux made a post saying, I'm not not posting this for drama but this is the clip that was cropped out with just the money cam in the money cam it looks sus because it shows something moving behind a wall when in fact it was just her teammate with the bomb the whole time i don't know about the email but from this clip alone i do not see hacks so this entire situation was probably like four or five days ago and she's still on twitter like still to this very moment like trying to defend herself and saying how she didn't hack and like just talking about it which is understandable because of all the hate and things she was getting so she just wants to clear her name so you can't really fault her for that and people are being like super weird towards her like i've seen people signing up for things with her email and like it's just a lot of weirdos doing weird things and those types of people are just like that's not cool at all Overall, leave your opinions down below in the comments about what you think about this entire situation. Don't forget to press that red button. Join the travels with the biggest trapper. We're on the road to 400 subscribers, man. And as always, I appreciate the love and support. And I'll catch y'all in the next banger, man. Bye. Have a beautiful time.